dwell with prudence and I find knowledge and discretion. Um, the whole context of Proverbs 8 is dealing with wisdom. A lot of people, even Trinitarians, try to read into Proverbs 8 about being Jesus. I don't think that's good exegesis. I think that's um, actually very poor. But like I said, like even like I said a little while ago with you, Eric, I'm not here. I'm not going to respond to everything. I think you came in with a very good attitude, very well-mannered, and, and I respect that as well. I think I just have a few differences in what you just shared, and I want to leave it at that. Uh, I, I find it interesting that you think Jesus is omnipresent, though, and omnipotent. He's Given the Alpha and the it, Omega, the first and last. Why wouldn't he be? But he also <laughs> didn't know the day or the hour of his That return. was in his humanity, as we went through before. He sum- humbled himself for a time. Yeah, but you can't show me where he ever got that knowledge either. Philippians chapter 2. Heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. He says that I am marrying grace and law. And uh, his whole group believes that I am in spiritual adultery. Heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. He says that the best English version out there, I use it all the time. It's the one that I recommend people use. But to call it perfect is a lie. And I know that it's a lie. So I, I have to be honest with people. Um, there's a lot of reasons why I say this, and I'm always happy to go into these reasons. Um, but it's not just translations, although translation is a big part of the thing. But it's not just that. But if Bob would like to come aboard, uh, I would love to ask Bob, because Bob is one of the people that believe I am shackling people with love God, with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. He says that I am marrying grace and law. And When did I say that? You're a liar. I have never said that. Thank you for lying about me again, Eric. And I couldn't care less what Bible talk, Ben... Anybody else says, you show me a clip where I've said that. And his whole group believes that I am in spiritual adultery. Whose whole group? I don't have a group. I have a YouTube channel. I don't have a group. I don't have a group mentality. What are you referring to? By saying that God wants us to love him with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love our neighbor as herself. I've never said anything. So, is that true? Well, I'll tell you what. If it is, call me an adulterer. I am going to preach that until the day the Lord takes me off this earth. So call me what you like. I really do not care. Some people will call me a preacher of grace. I, I, love, love this, but love, I mean, I don't see why people think love their neighbor and love God with all their heart and love neighbors under the law. It's not. Um, Romans 13, I verse 8 and 10, that, I posted ben, on the community page yesterday, in fact. Ben, I have never said that. It's the fulfilling of the law. It's not that we're under law. I mean, Paul wrote that. I mean, he said that, anyway, that shall not, um, that shall not, um, Still, that shall not cover, that shall not bear false witness, and stuff like that. And in yeah. this in verse 10, uh, for love worketh no ill to his neighbor. And if that hinges on verse 9, that if you're doing those things by bearing false witness, stealing, etc., you're bearing uh, an ill to your neighbor, you're doing wrong. To- Eric is lying about me, Ben. It amusing, no, it's not even amusing actually that you didn't don't, don't even notice that somebody would have said something if I'd have made a comment as a uh, lion art. Uh, Witten has stated, he's a liar. He has just lied about me again. And you want to know why I don't go in his studio? <laughs> to your neighbor. But if you're not mm-hmm. doing those things and you're loving them, that's that's how you show your love. Um, so oh, yeah. That's nothing. I don't know why people you are saying it's under the law. Life. That's what Paul wrote. <laughs> and Paul wrote, we're under grace. He just says that love is the fulfillment of the law. Um, so, I, I, yeah. I, would say, I would say, Ben, that it's because there's something inside them that does not want to love. That's yeah. what they're resisting. And I don't know whether it's loving God with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength or loving their neighbor as himself. They obviously have a problem with either one or the other. Eric, you don't know anything about me. I've got no problem with loving my neighbor as myself, but I'm not going to lie about my neighbor as you do. You've just lied about me. 
No big deal. I'm not sat here worrying. Just pointing it out. Or maybe both. I don't know which it is. I don't care which it is. Um, sure, okay. To argue that God does not, that, that love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself is sagling, uh, shackling people to a murderous never said that. law of death. That says something about their heart. Uh, I'm going to repeat it again. I have, I have never said that. They're not willing to forgive. They, they, really? they would prefer to hold to hate. Oh, I don't they hate. would prefer to cause discord. Oh, the they, go. they would prefer to act like five-year-olds that can't rise above a troll. Oh, yeah. They prefer to show that they're not even capable of an intelligent conversation. Oh, you're kidding. They prefer to not oh, act oh, like oh, brothers oh. and sisters. What does this tell you about these people? Think... They would argue against love the Lord thy God and love your neighbor as yourself. Go ahead, Janet. I'm sorry. In comparison, you think about, you know, like if everyone would ask themselves, if they were Abraham and they were asked to, to um, put Isaac on the altar, you know, what would you do? Your favorite son. And God says, give him up. Amen. He's asking us to do something that makes us feel better anyway. And we love people. And Stephanie asks a question or makes a comment. And she says, in other words, if you don't ever repent, you just don't care. I would actually agree with that. Yes, that's right. Amen. If you don't repent, you don't care. Yeah. Eric is a liar. Stephanie Tretton is a Catholic. Sure, it's Stephanie Tretton. I keep getting her confused with uh, Janet Dutridge, but Stephanie Tretton is the Catholic. Just keep lying. If you have the Holy Spirit in you, oh. you would be grieved, right? Yeah, let, let's give Bob a chance. Bob has the breath, uh, breathtaking. Breathtaking what? I'll soon find out. But uh, Eric, I don't need you to give me any chances at all. You've just lied about me, and obviously. I'm not going to have a, a conversation with a liar. We're right. shattering the uh, announcement here, guys. He says, I have it on my channel. Eric is a liar. Oh. Eric is basically a reprobate or just plain stupid. That's but, right. You know, I can tell he put... Yes. You are one of the most... You are probably one of the most nauseating people on YouTube at the moment. Like probably weeks. Why is Garu Lady a moderator on here? That's up to you, of course. I'm not complaining. Ben's a moderator. Stefan Van Buren. Anyway, Dave's going in there. I wonder what's going to transpire there. And to figure out how, how to word this so that it would have the uh, most devastating effect possible. Uh, Bob, I'm going to give you a chance to come on up, buddy. But whatever this is, buddy, I am not your buddy. I'm not a buddy with you. I don't hate you. I'm not your friend. You are a liar. Spread the news, dude. Let's start right here. Wreck me right here on my own channel. Let's do it. I'll sure. be back. I'm get some coffee. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I am going to give Bob. Make sure you have the link here, so you don't have to scroll all the way to the top. Bob will say, "Well, I can't find that link all the way at the top there." Well, there you go, Bob. It's right under your post. Go ahead and click in. Ruin me here, brother. Tell them this devastating news. Here. Oh, this devastating news. I can't see your link, Eric. I'm recording this. and uh, I cannot see your link. Do you know why? Because I've blocked you. And I'm not going to unblock you. For reasons I've already given. That's a liar. He's a reprobate. Or just plain stupid. Yeah, that's right. And I'm I'm backstage. I will not What's apologize that? for saying. Yeah, using it, so he was trying to get in. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. I am watching for Bob. Would you tell Bob to come on up here and? Like, yeah, come on in, Bob. Come on in, Bob. Have a little chit chat. Share this news. Hold on. None of you. No offense to you, Dave. None of you are telling me what to do. I am not unblocking Eric. I've blocked him. I cannot see the link. I've got no reason to lie about that. And I'm not 
mucking about for the next five minutes just so I can unblock him and this, that and the other. Got nothing to say to Eric other than what I've put on screen there and that's it. End of. This is with the world? I mean, Eric's extending, you know, an opportunity for you to voice your disagreements or whatever it is and your controversies. <laughs> Why not take the opportunity? Absolutely. Well, well, what's this business? I just kind of tuned in here. He says that you claim that Jesus Christ is not the Alpha and Omega. Is that uh, true? What does that mean? Well, I have no idea what he means by that. My gosh, let's find out. He's Bob. claiming that you claim that Jesus Christ is not the Alpha and Omega like he said he is. Well, well Bob, come on up and show us, show us, Bob. But you don't claim that, do you? Well, I don't. Maybe Bob does. He claims that he, he's accusing you of claiming ask, that from some past Bob. video. Ask Bob. I've got it on my channel. I've recorded it. Wow. I can't believe it. Well, I can't believe it. I'm hearing it. Go and check out. Uh, we'll just type in Eric on it on on my channel on the search thingy. But if he thinks that uh, God wants us to keep those two laws, and maybe you just made a mistake and said something. You know, you, you agree that Jesus is the Alpha and Omega, right? Yeah, yeah. Ask Bob if God wants us to keep those two laws. What, which ones? Love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. I'd like I'd like to know if he wants if he thinks God wants us to keep those two. I ask a question like that. It's obvious I do. Well, obviously not to you because you're disingenuous. Laws. It's about keeping laws anyway, I don't think. He won't answer me. No, I won't. Why should I? Because you're not I lying. guess he's afraid to talk. I guess he's about. afraid to ask me his own question. Who asked the question, who is my neighbor? Did somebody ever ask that? Yeah, Jesus asked that. No, 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 no. Somebody asked him, I think, that, right? Who is my neighbor? If someone's lying about you and has lied, as he's done in this stream here, you don't see it as a thing. I'm going to treat Eric like a neighbor or a believer. As I've said, uh, he was on Standing for Truth channel. Uh, I tagged Eric in it. I tagged Ben in it. In fact, I sent uh, a link to that YouTube show to Ben. He knows perfectly well what Eric has said. How did that go down again? Well, he's probably asked that too. So, Bob, Bob, do you have anything that says, uh, I don't think Jesus is the Alpha and Omega? Yeah, I recorded it. It's on my channel. Poor fella. Let's see here. You know, I have to say, I was blessed to have a husband for 29 years until he passed that was not against the love commandments. And, Amen. And he wasn't against doing works either. So it was really convenient to have a man like that. Amen. I don't know what it would be like to have the opposite. Yeah. Well, it would have to be scary, wouldn't it? Yeah. To live with somebody that didn't believe in grace and love and forgiveness. And... You have to sleep with a gun underneath your mattress or something. You have no grace. <laughs> All right. That was dramatic, I know. <laughs> well, no, I, I do that on a good day, my friend. <laughs> so I just I just had to step away. But um, if anyone tried to do it, I don't know if they did, but I had to go and uh, feed the dog and make sure everything's okay. So I'm back now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh. So <clears throat> I guess Bob disappeared. Um, That's well, okay. That fire went out quick, didn't it, Bob? Bless your heart. Okay. Oh, so yeah. that, it, it must be. What fire, Eric? <laughs> yeah. It must really, truly suck to have nothing better to do. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I, I feel sorry for the guy. I see him. I don't. I don't ever see him like talking about his anybody in his life. Yeah. I don't. I don't ever see him say a good, friendly word to anybody. I see him stirring trouble everywhere. I don't stir trouble, Eric. This is just massive disingenuity. Where anywhere he thinks that he can push a button and upset somebody. That's what I see him doing. And then when he finds out he can't upset you, he quits. You think I he's keep, a brother? No. I keep telling him, get back here and pick on me, dude. Leave everybody else alone, but he won't do it. So you don't think he's a brother in Christ? No, I don't. No, I, I don't think he shows the fruits of a brother in Christ, and I'm not going to apologize for saying that. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not going to judge him, okay? You God just will judge did. him, but if you ask me, does he show the works, the fruits of a brother? No, he does not. So he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. And thou shalt not bear false witness. Yeah. That's, all, that's all the man does. Yeah, we'll stop now, lying, then. You, Oh my God, this gets worse. Stop lying about me, Eric. I'm not sure you even know what the commandments are, what the purpose is. No, Dave, I don't, I don't hold that against him. I don't care what he says about me. I don't at all. Right. But I'm not going to lie up. about it and say, oh, of course, this man's a shining example. <laughs> <laughs> then shut up. If you don't care. You know, I can't do that. No, if, you, if you're asking me, does he show the fruits of a Christian? No, he does not. 
And I'm not his judge, but God yeah, is. Yeah. And uh, yeah. none of us are going to fool God. But we are supposed to judge them that are within, right? That's right. Well, and Ben, don't tell me you don't know. I emailed you. I sent the link to it to Eric stating those things on Standing for Truth channel. Uh, yeah, Standing for Truth channel. Uh, talking to, um, oh, what's his name now? Oh, I've forgotten his name. Uh, let's see if I can find it now. Uh, Berean Apologetics, I think it is. I forgot what his name is. I'm not going to look, but anyway. Well, we have <coughs> judged the works. Okay, and if they're they're not up to par, we're supposed to talk with them. Well, we to, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I'm just bringing up the scripture about Paul says, are we not to judge them that are within? Yeah, mm -hmm. and if they, if, they, if they won't repent, we're to mark them and avoid them. We are. And what do you think of a, I'm sorry, Dave, go ahead. I'm just wondering, um, them that are within, where is that that Paul talks about that? 1 Corinthians 5.12. What do you think of that general spot there? I'm just using that as a reference. 1 Corinthians 5.12. Mm -hmm. Can we bring that up on the screen? Anybody? 1 Corinthians 5.12. Yahoo, can you bring 1 Corinthians 5.12? He's good at that. That the passage where also they're, is that the one they were talking also I, uh, church position, you know, like throwing them out of church, um, not just fellowship, but actually out of the church, if I'm not mistaken. Garo lady, that, that sounds like a wonderful, wonderful thing. There. What? You said First Corinthians what? Five. Five, five twelve. Five twelve. I wouldn't play it. Um, no, I'm going to lose my place there, aren't I? Uh, oh, okay. Really, all of five talks about. Uh, right. I was just get to the spot. Right. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, we'll take it. Yeah, it's up. Got it. sure. Okay. Now, now, hold on just a second. Um, Sir Vegan, uh, Corwin Vega, Eric says, Eric, you're kind of judging the man. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm judging. Yeah, I refuse to judge him. You are. I'll judge his actions. And like I said, he does not display the fruit of a Christian. He does. He you. displays the fruit of a demon. I mean, you're not judging whether he's saved or lost is what you mean, right? Right, exactly. But you're I'm judging not. that he has demons. Yes. I know. He's I'm judging demon. he's, yeah, he's the fruit of a devil, man. And uh, a saved it, man it, wouldn't it, have it, the fruit of the devil, obviously. Well, well uh, we shouldn't, should we? Well, I mean, I've heard preachers, preachers do say that a saved man can sin and do everything just like an unsaved man can. Well, we, know that, we know that's not true, too. So that's not true. Okay. No, we know that, that any children of God, Jesus said, you will know my disciples. Not because they're brilliant, intellectual <laughs> athletes, but because they have love one for another. Period. So, you know, we either believe that or we don't. I happen to believe it. And there's 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Yeah, see what he's five. saying? Back up like to verse 8 there and 7, see what yeah. that says up there. Yeah. Um, okay, so you're talking about keeping the feast, our Christ, our Passover. What's the general bend of First Corinthians five there again? It's uh, basically fornication. You're talking about there's fornication among you. He's he's rebuking them for the guy that had his father's wife. They were puffed up about it, um, and he talks about he not rather mourned that he had done this deed might be taken away from him. But verily, his absent body, but presently have judged already. So, so Paul's judging. First Corinthians five three have judged already as though I were present concerning him. It is so done this deed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ when you're gathered together and my spirit with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ to deliver such an one unto Satan. Now, if a guy has his father's wife, was he saved, do you think, or is this guy unsaved? Because he's getting delivered to Satan in verse five. I'm just asking. Well, I'm not going to judge. He just he, that's that's for God to judge, dude. But they were saying he was in the fellowship, though. So they were. No, no, I'm not judging him either, but I'm judging the scripture. I'm trying to figure out the scripture, trying to learn from it, whether or not. According to the scripture, they're saying he was um, a Christian among them because because he goes on to say, we don't judge those that are in the world, but those that are in the church. So they were embracing him as a brother. So that's where I'm getting at here. So then they delivered him unto Satan for the destruction of the flesh that the spirit may be saved, though. See, so if the spirit's not saved, then that means he would be unsaved, right? He might be. Or, well, it was he, back, he was considering him backslidden. Is that the approach that they... So the spirit can be on, he can be backslidden and lose his salvation, but then he can come back? Because if Hebrews 6 is right, you can't come back. Because it's impossible. If you crucify the Son of God afresh, you put him through an open shame, you can't come back. You get saved, you leave it, you try to come back. It don't work that way, according to Hebrews 6. Well, I'm going to say, you know, people can read those in many different ways, read those things in many different ways. One thing that we do know is that God is compassionate. It's not the Father's will that any man should perish. And that if people do fall away, the scripture does say, little children, I would that you sin not. But if any man sin, we do have an advocate, which is Jesus Christ, the righteous. So I don't believe that that's a proper understanding of the verse that you're pulling out there. Which one? Which verse? Um, I don't if the verse says we have an, I would that you sin not. But if you sin, we have an advocate with the Father, which is Jesus Christ, the righteous. I didn't, I didn't now, even bring that verse up. No, I know. I am. But uh, but there's there's the answer. So I, so I don't think that you, you're understanding about it's impossible to renew them. I don't think that your understanding of that particular passage is correct. Because oh, of that, oh, oh. I'm saying I'm saying that uh, I, I believe that there may be places we can go where we won't be forgiven. For instance, blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. 
uh, there's no forgiveness for this. But at the same time, I do happen to know that God is very gracious and long-suffering, not wanting us to sin, and graciously calling to us and dealing with us while we are in our sin, all the while trying to draw us to repentance. So, so is it possible that God could even forgive the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit? Well, he says he won't. You know, I have to take that at face value. Just okay. like he says, if we don't forgive, we won't be forgiven. I have to take that at face value. Why would we not? You know? So so when he delivered this guy to Satan, though, I just want to ask this question. In First Corinthians 5, 5, and it's leading up to that other one uh, that I brought up down there about judging them that are without in verse 12. So we're at verse 5, getting to verse 12, and I just wanted to point out that they're delivering this guy into Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. So I'm kind of confused because... If they're delivering him unto well, Satan, hold, hold, on, just, hold on, hold on, just a second, Dave. Yeah, um, I'm either going to bring uh, Bob up here, or I'm going to silence him for a while. Oh, um, give him a chance. You know, he's just kind of. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm you no. Know, he's calling me a liar, and that's all cool. I'm good with that. But everybody in the that sees this is going to see him calling me a liar in chat, and I want everybody to see that. Also, see that uh, he is obviously doesn't have anything in his repertoire that allows him to come up here and share with people any place that I've lied to anybody. He doesn't have it. I am certainly open to it. I am certainly, uh, the link's out there for him to come into. He knows it. I'll put it in there one more time. He has no excuse whatsoever. But he won't come in to back up his doctrine or to back up his uh, charge. So, you know, I've just got to, I've just got to point out that he's not much of a. Uh, yeah, it just enough. sounds to me like in First Corinthians 5, 5, that the guy's not saved because that which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So if the spirit may be saved in the day of Lord Jesus, that would indicate that he's not saved. Because they turn him over to Satan, that the spirit may be saved. So he's really not saved. Well, I don't know if he is or not. I, and oh, it's not for me to judge. It's not for me to judge that. It's not for you to judge that, Dave. What is for us to judge is whether or not these are the actions of saved people, the spirit of the flesh or the spirit of, uh, of uh, God. And it's, it's certainly not the spirit of God. But we can read what are the deeds of the flesh and what are the deeds of the spirit of God. So how do you understand what Paul's talking about here, then? He doesn't probably. That's all I'm asking. Well, there's certain things that's none of my business, nor is it yours. Like, are you saved, Dave? That's none of my business. I can't judge that. Are some of the things you do wrong? Yes. Are some of the things I do wrong? Yes. Okay. That's what matters. Do we walk in a Do we walk in a general spirit? Yes. Oh, by the way, I've said at least three or four times in this recording. A few you can see it on screen. And I'm not going to unblock him. Right? He's blocked. I cannot see any link there. I can't see Lionheart's uh, comment. And even if a mod posts the link, I am not going in. Simple. What's typical? Eric hasn't got any fire, Garu lady. Why is Eric giving you a spanner with, with all the nastiness that you uh, said about Bill? Why is Ben in there with a spanner? I mean, that, I mean that's up to Eric, you know. I mean, I'm not complaining about that, but I'm just making an observation here. Ben... Uh, had a spanner in another stream of Eric's, uh, Ryan the Presbyterian Redux was in there. Ben could have timed him out, blocked him, hidden him from the channel, whatever. That's up to him, of course. But he was pretending that he didn't... It's almost as though he didn't... I mean, he actually said it in the side chat, I don't know who you are. That's rubbish. Ben's been around Bill's channel for the last three years that I'm aware of. And he's heard so much about Ryan the Potato, Ryan the Presby, all that stuff. Wow. Disingenuity is a massive benefit on Lionheart's channel. It's truth. Yes, we do. Are we generally expressing God or hatred? Are we expressing love? I don't hate or you. Or are you just playing all the despicable things it. that are contrary to love? So when people are loving the Lord their God with their whole mind, heart, and soul, and their neighbor as yourself, you know that they're disciples then. What's that now? So you can know they're disciples though, right? Like Jesus said, by their fruits? Yeah, yeah, you, you pretty much but can. But you can't really know who's who then. I don't understand. That's sort of a contradictory statement. So you can know they're disciples by their fruits, so yeah. that they're saved people. But then at the same time, you're telling me you can't know it. 
No, at the same time, I'm telling you, I'm not going to be so audacious as to judge their, found their salvation. That's not up to me to know, because there's a lot of things in there that I can't judge that I do not know between them and God. Yeah, so, none of us can say 100% what's going to happen when that person leaves this earth, but we're still given a lot of clues and ways. Like Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So we listen to what comes out of their mouth. Okay, We look for yeah. love. We look for fruit. Yeah, um, and I'm hearing lies out of Eric's mouth. Ben is just ignoring the whole situation, it seems. I'm not speaking for Ben, but crikey. I, I mean, as I said earlier, I emailed uh, that short video from Standing for Truth channel. Um, I'm sure it's Berean Apologetics. Oh, what's his name now? I keep forgetting his name. But anyway, it was on Standing for Truth the other day, only a day or so ago. How doesn't he understand? Um, and I believe that there's like an inner witness in your spirit a lot of times if someone is your brother or not. You know, by the way, they, they live their lives, the way they speak to you, the way they react with other people, their, you know, their morals and their manner of life. But as far as this chapter, what, because it says um, fornication among you and talking about we just judge within and not without, I have to assume that they, they had that person as a member of their, of their church, of their congregation, that they believed was in Christ, and then the person was fornicating. And they, you know, kick him out, let him suffer in the flesh, because, you know, in hopes that he'll repent and the spirit will be saved. Because then he goes on later on to say that we don't judge those that, that are without. So, you know, I believe that they saw that person as a person in good standing in the church. I have a bit of scripture, uh, Sister Jen, if, um, and Brother Lionheart, that's all right to read. Absolutely, Ben. Um, so Ben was in there hearing all that. Not that I would expect, but, and I certainly wouldn't uh, value it too much, but even Ben doesn't speak up uh, when Eric uh, lies about me. I'm assuming that Ben knows that Eric is lying. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's disingenuity again. Uh, convenient. Convenient hearing. I wonder, Ben, what's going on here? I agree with you there, Janet. Um, amen. And I want to read this, what Paul writes <coughs> uh, in Second Thessalonians chapter 3. Um, <laughs> now in the days of me and uh, brother on YouTube who used to bounce, bounce, you know, angle off each other and all that sort of thing, used to say, you need to get saved, you need to get that. And then, of course, in the end, the Lord took me and knocked down and said, hey, no more, can't do that. Um, and praise God that I got to spend some time with him and look at the scriptures and what they say about brother. And, I mean, this could attribute to me at times, you know, any of us, really. Um, and maybe we need to have a talking to by our brethren and say, hey, you know, you might not be doing right there. You know, you know, let's, let's look at the scriptures to see if you're in, in any error. So this is what Second Thessalonians 3, Paul writes, verse 13 onwards. He says, but ye, brethren, be not weary in well-doing. And if any man obey not our word by this epistle, note that man and have no company with him, that he may be ashamed. Yet count him not as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by your means. The Lord be with you all. And when I read that, I was like, thank you, Lord, you know, because <clears throat> we don't know. We don't know who the Lord has saved by if anyone's put their trust in Christ. And this is what I've come to the conclusion now this past couple of months. And praise God for that, because it's not for any of us. And as you said quite rightly, uh, so, Brother Merrick, it's not right for any of us to judge. You know, God's the judge of all things, of all people. Um, we just see the scriptures, what they say, and we can read them. And if, by all means, if any of us are in error here, uh, if, if, you know, if, I know, you know, we're, we're, we're Christians, um, but if we ever in the future or in the era, just just let's let's talk about it and go to the word. Um, but that verse really spoke to me. Not admonish him as a not count him as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. That really spoke to me. Um, in the same period, no, but it's still um, saying not have company with them, though, right? Ben? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So say that you can love people and not have company with them. Yeah, and we, we that, that's exactly what we should do at times. Yeah, and this isn't a thing where we're haughty guys. Right. This isn't a thing where we're all proud and we say, well, I ain't fellowshipping with you. This is a thing where you, look, let's put all of this, let's put this entire conversation into context here. And if you go to look at Galatians, um, Galatians chapter five, and if you go to verse 18, start right there. Yep. If you be led of the spirit, you are not under the law. But let's look at this now. Because when I tell people, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love thy neighbor as thyself, they say I'm a bastard. Yeah. They say I'm bastardizing faith by crossing it with the law, but I'm, I'm showing you that the law is grace when we get right down to it. The law was meant to be grace. The law is good when it's lawful. Yeah. 
the, 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 the letter of the law does kill, but the spirit of the law makes alive. If you are led by the spirit, then you're not going to be displaying the works of the flesh. Now look at this, verse 19. The works, you see, this is what I'm saying. Everything we do, day and night, are our works. And we are going before the Father with our works. Now here we have Brother Bob calling me a liar and saying all manner of things about me. That I'm not your brother, Eric. I don't want to be associated with you. That are not true, and that's okay. He's perfectly entitled to do that. But these are a work of the flesh, as is cowardice, by the way. A work of the flesh. But I'm these no are all, the point is, every single... Uh, I'm no coward. I've been in conversation with you before, if you could call it that, in my studio. Uh, and Bill deleted it. He will never get the opportunity to do that again. But Bill deleted it when he was trying to have a conversation with uh, Graham Good. And I, I think Kevin came in. You couldn't stop talking over them. I had to mute you and put you backstage a couple of times. And then you, you've been in conversa so-called conversation with me on other occasions. And you just keep talking over me. And you wonder why you're blocked, why I don't want to talk to you. It's just too nauseating to have a conversation with you, Eric. Single day, 24-7, our works are being judged by God. You can try to get out of that if you like, but you're not going to. You can kick about it and be displeased about it all you like. You can preach against it all you like, but you're not going to change it. Everything that we do is going to come under judgment. Every word that we speak. Verse 18, but look at verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. See the works. The works are manifest, and these are them adultery, fornication, and evil, so idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, like saying God doesn't want us to love. God who doesn't want us to that? repent. How who, heretical can you be? In who, who, who has said that? When? I have never said that. Beings, murders, drunkenness revelings and such like of the which i tell you before as i have also told you in times past judge this that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of god period thus saith somebody a lot closer to god than i am and then in six five, seven and eight it says be not deceived god is not mocked for whatsoever a man sows that shall he also reap for he that sows to his flesh shall the flesh reap corruption. But he that sows to the spirit shall the spirit reap life everlasting. Amen. And now, how, how do we act if we are saved? You see, there is a fruit of the spirit just like there is a fruit of the flesh. And we display the spirit that we are walking in 24-7. Oh, and we were just talking about restoring people too. And I was wondering where that verse was. It's 6-1. Brethren, if any man be overtaken in a fault, he which are spiritual, restore such as one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Amen. Amen. Now look. If they're not displaying the fruit of the Spirit, look, God says right here, these people are not saved. They are not going to inherit the kingdom of God. That's right. It tells you right here, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering. This is what people do when they are saved. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. They that are Christ have crucified, crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts thereof. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. So look, I can look at Bob and I can say, Bob, you don't act like a saved man, that's for sure. You don't have the fruits of a saved man. You have the fruits of a hateful old man. Are you kidding? If we had no idea of knowing if people were saved or not, how would we marry somebody that's in the faith? Amen. And not be unequally yoked? Amen. Exactly. Why do you think so look, I don't do with Eric? He's saying I'm not saved, basically, but he won't come out with it literally and say so. Judge my friend, Bob. I judge that... Uh, he I'm not your friend, Eric. I am not your friend. You've made it perfectly clear simply by lying about you. Uh, sorry, lying about me. I haven't lied about you. I've recorded it. Ben knows about it. He won't say anything. I've said this before, Ben. I don't think I'm ever going to be in conversation with you again verbally or via uh, youtube don't comment on my channel please. himself to be a friend i judge that he wants to say all kinds of untrue things about me just make him up pull him out of the air i don't need constantly. to you do it yourself i've recorded it that's what i'm saying and we troll me and constantly make these accusations 
I just, I judge saved people do not do this. Therefore, I judge Bob has many problems. But I'm not going to judge that he's not saved. That's for God to judge. I judge all things. If you don't, don't, men, if you don't care what, what he's doing, it. if you don't care about what I've said uh, in the side chat here, then sure, I'll go on something else. Seriously. Is ungodly, but I'm not going to judge that he's not saved. Right. I will judge that if he's smart, he'll judge himself. So God doesn't have to, because if he's if he doesn't stop, God will stop him. And as soon as you read like the um, fruit of the spirit, you know the peace, the joy, someone is sure to say, "Well, I saw you, and you weren't being very patient with so and so." You know, but when we do fail, you know, at least we're saying that this is what we set our feet to do. We we want to be on this path, right? And we do fail, and when we fail, it's our intent to repent and be forgiven and start again and by the grace of god do it better tomorrow yeah you know? or do it better now i should say you know? and one thing that you can charge me with is being stupid on occasion i'll gladly say guilty yeah but one thing you cannot charge me with is harboring hate in my heart for anybody you can charge me with it all you like but you're gonna come up empty because i don't you yeah, oh, excuse me so uh so that's good and no that doesn't make me perfect as i say i mean you, hopefully you can see this side chat here I can't see any link. I'm not going in there, Dave. And yeah, I don't need to. I'm not going to have a conversation with, with somebody, as I've already said, who has lied about me. Seriously. But it makes me more perfect than the person uh, 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 who harbors hatred in their heart. I think well, for those that came late, um, Eric is going to plan around 4.30ish, maybe tomorrow, Eastern time. For another stream. Awesome. So what's it over there now then? Early in the morning? It's four AM right now. Three fifty five. What for you? Yeah. Eastern time. Oh, oh okay. Um and what about you at same time? Yeah, three fifty six AM. Oh, right, okay. I can't keep up with it. <laughs> yeah, are you and Dave are on Central or Mountain or what? I think Central. Central, okay. Yeah. It just so that's one hour earlier? Yeah, it's almost, yeah, it's almost three here. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, so, you know, guys, when when Bob when says he has a recording, um, yeah. I've just read in Bob's comment. He says that he has a recording reference in Alpha and Omega. Um, I don't, I don't know what you said in that uh in the video, but um, I don't I don't know. I haven't. Well, he's insane, dude. Two um, days ago, and he's not willing to come up here and show anybody what I said. So it doesn't matter no, what he what he's done or how he may have edited something or I, I don't care. Didn't I, edit I, it. I do not care. You recorded um, it, Bob. You can say anything you like. You can do anything you like, but you you have nothing. So, um, you know, including come though. Come and talk. Let's, let's have a chat. Come on, mate. Let's have a talk. Who, Bob? <laughs> Are you talking to Bob? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I was just saying. I'm um, just just saying to Bob. Uh, just just coming up and talk. It'd be nice to talk. Nice to chat. Maybe maybe you know. <laughs> maybe we want to go private afterwards or later. I don't know. But maybe have a chat after. I'm here right now, even. Hey, just, uh, I'll tell you what. Go ahead and bring up. Uh, Ben, you got when did I'm going to check my email now? I'll tell I'll tell you exactly what time and what date I sent the email with that video link, blah blah, in the email to him. Give me a minute. Pull up that video. Let's see what he sent you. I'm not afraid. I'm not intimidated. I can't, I can't do it from intimidated? my phone because I, I don't use a laptop, and to, for me to for me to leave the stream means that um I would I'd literally not be I drop out, and then I go to email and uh. I could I could do that, but um, post a link I suppose. But Bob, maybe uh, you can post a link. I, well, I don't, well, I don't think Bob is going to post that link. Dude. Post Would you like link. to post that link for Bob? Post since Bob's a little bit scared, I think. Ruth, how can I post a link? You can just put it in the private chat if he's afraid to uh, pull it up for everybody. I'll pull it up for everybody else. Oh dear! Um. Oh, don't let people like this intimidate you, brother. Don't let them intimidate you. You know, they, they want to play they want to play little games like this. This is how you turn the game around and frustrate them at every turn. No, Bob's this... not intimidate me. No, he's I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Give me a moment, yeah, brother. Okay. I'll have to drop out though, get the link. But if I can if you can let me in when I pop back that way. I will sure let you in and you can email me the link too if you want. I'll make sure it gets up here. Hold on, what was that bit that Ben just said about me? Oh Lord help. Um oh, don't let people like this intimidate you, brother. Don't let him intimidate you. 
You know, they, they want to play they want to play little games like this. This is how you turn the game around and frustrate them at every turn. No, Bob's not intimidating me. No, he's right. I'll be back in a minute. Give me a moment, yeah, brother. Okay. I'll have to drop out though, get the link. But if I can, if you can let me in when I pop back, that I great. will show. Oh, yeah. Now I've got this. Yeah, okay. uh, <laughs> oh Lord, help! Um, now don't let people like this intimidate you, brother. Don't let them intimidate you. You know no, they, no, they no, want to play. They no, want to play little no, games no, like this. This is how you turn the game around no, no, and no, frustrate no, no, them at every turn. No, Bob's this not intimidating is... me. No, he's like, I'll be back in a minute. Right, I sent that email, and I'm going to stream it later now. To Ben, I sent that email to him on Saturday, the twenty seventh of May, at six minutes past five in the morning. That was four days ago. Four. F O U R. Days ago. Five past six in the morning. What time is it now? Oh, it's nine o'clock. Give me a moment, yeah, brother. Okay. I'm going to stream later. I'm going to stream later on. I'm going to play this. Oh, no, maybe not, but I will show it. Check it out later. I don't get the link, but if I can, if you can let me in when I pop back that. I will sure let you in, and you can email me the link too if you want. I'll make sure it gets up here. Oh, that's a good idea. Will you be able to get it from whilst you're stri streaming? I should be able to, sure. Okay, I'll see what I could do. Won't be long. Eric, I think I'm going to take off here. Um, four o'clock, I'm yawning and ready to crash. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty late. <laughs> yeah. Well. But thank you for having me on. Oh, you're very welcome. I just figured uh, you got to excuse me. I, I don't want to. Uh, oh, uh, you know, guess who's watching? Who I'm else? just not going to let an enemy come up here and think that they rained on. Guess who else is watching? Oh, well, I hate to use the word guess, but are oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. On anybody's parade. Oh no, I'm fine. I just, you know, four o'clock. It's I gotta sleep. That's bit. cool. <laughs> you got a lot of moment to do. That's a lot of time to, to meditate. It. Yep. Weeding as well. Her grid can't handle refrigerator. If I can figure out my buttons. Is there that the right link? Yeah, it is. This problem. He hates me. And for some reason, I he hate you. Stop lying about me. Anybody listening to this video now, surely you realize that I was never going to go in his channel. He keeps accusing me of that. He keeps accusing me of causing all the trouble and stuff that happened, like, you know, with Ben and all that sort of stuff before, over the last four or five weeks, apart from last week, the last week or so. Right. Uh, who caused all of that trouble, really? Ben. Holy bim. And there's few other people aware of it. But Eric sees fit to blame me for that. I'm throwing wood on the fire. All I do is wherever I go, I record. And yeah, I do make comments on stuff. I've had enough. Uh, they can play that recording, I don't care. Uh... Oh, I'm a coward anyway, so, I mean, this will prove your point for you. See if I'm bothered. I've never tried to intimidate anybody. And by the way, Ben, I have never, under any circumstances in the last three or four years that I've been aware of you, I have never, ever, even once, tried to tell you or order you not to go to any specific or any channel or anything like that. I've never tried to tell you what to do. But thank you for lying about me, Ben. Isn't it interesting you find out who your friends are? Oh yes, the link's there. Right, anyway. In fact, I'll play that link now. I'll go straight to it and play it for you right in the middle of this. 
Oh, it won't show it. Oh, you'll be able to hear it, though. Yeah, you see, don't tell me you don't recognize that voice. Is he actually going to play that video? He has to make up anything he can make up. But look, I will defend what I said about oh, it. I don't care what you're going to say now, Eric. I've had it. I mean, frankly, I really have had enough. And I've got, I do have genuinely other things to do. Anyway. Yeah, that's it. I'm making this into a, a video with all the clips on it and stuff. Uh, you people, you know, Ben's uh, a mod on there. That's okay. That's uh, up to Eric. Garu Lady. I think I blocked her. I can't remember. I think I did. Stephanie Tretton, the Catholic. Yeah. Just keep putting the boot in. Just keep putting the boot in. Oh, yeah, keep putting the boot in. Bye bye, Ben. Uh, Yahoo, the Hebrew roots merchant. Eric. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dave. At least made an effort. If you followed Dave's line of questioning. Right, you, I think you might sort of grasp what the point he was making is. It's perfectly clear that Eric does not believe I'm in Christ without him being specific. If you asked him, if you asked Lionheart, do you believe Bob is a saved man? He won't say yea or nay. He will say blah 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 and I've no objection to love of course but if you love someone you know uh, then you do not lie about them do you Lionheart Ben bye bye be well mannered and, and I respect that as well I think I just have a few differences of what you just shared and I want to leave it at that uh, I, I find it interesting that you think Jesus is omnipresent, though, and omnipotent. He's Given the Alpha and the it, Omega, the first and last. Why wouldn't he be? But he also <laughs> didn't know the day or the hour of his that return. That was in his humanity, as we went through before. He some, humbled himself for a time. Yeah, but you can't show me where he ever got that knowledge either. Philippians chapter 2. One of the things you talked about um, towards the end there, even talking about um, the Father being the only one who would be omniscient or omnipotent or things like that, uh, then that would then go against who Christ is by nature. And so I would disagree with you there. Um, I don't want to take up too long on what you shared. I just don't think there's a lot of what you shared that was actually scripturally accurate. One thing I would say to you is, uh, and I know you, you like Proverbs 8. That's wonderful. Proverbs 8 is very um, uh, Hebrew poetry. The, uh, in Revelation, so he's he's that before and he's that respond to everything. I think you came in with a very good attitude, very well mannered, and, and I respect that as well. I think I just have a few differences in what you just shared, and I want to leave it at that. Uh, I, I find it interesting that you think Jesus is omnipresent, though, and omnipotent. He's Given the Alpha and the Omega, the first and last. Why wouldn't he be? But he also <laughs> didn't know the day or the hour of his That return. was in his humanity, as we went through before. He some, humbled himself for a time. Yeah, but you can't show me where he ever got that knowledge either. Philippians chapter oh. 2, and we talked about that earlier, my friend. What? 